Welcome back everyone to the FSBL. Uh, this is the seventh week of our 10 week season and the third match of the seventh week. Um, we've got one more after today. Myself and Jedi Puga will play on Sunday at high noon. Um, <laughs> that's going to be a good one. Um, I am joined today by the two coaches of the teams uh, competing today. Go ahead, Kelly, introduce your team. Hey, so this is Kelly Bobelli, and on my team is Tier 1 Daisy, Tier 2 Captain Falcon and Sheik, Tier 3 Dr. Mario and Game of the Watch. Go ahead, Jason. And I am Broomstick, uh, coach of the uh, High Royale. Uh, my team is Tier 1 King K. Rule, Tier 2 Zelda and Shul, and Tier 3 is Dark Pit and Lucas. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we play best three out of five, and you can only use each of the characters that they just read off um, one time per match. Um, so by the time you'll made it to uh, game five, you'll have used all of your characters. Um, whenever you're ready, we can get going here, you two. I'll move you to your room. Good Sounds luck. Sounds good. Oh, and don't forget about the stats. Don't forget about the stats. All right. So... Don't forget about the stats. Probably going to be the thing I'm made fun of the most for saying every freaking match, but it's just such a huge part of the of the stats that we're keeping, or of the like way that we do the scoring, um, that we just we have to have them. So I just have to be a pain in the butt and remind everybody. Yes, I'm recording Jedi Puga. I messed up recording this week. I still got it. I still got it, but I messed up one time and you never hear the end of it. <coughs> I have sticky notes on my. Uh, desktop now to remind myself all right so we're seeing a nice start by both um, players here um, something I do want to mention is with 3.0 coming out uh, last night there's been a lot of buffs and nerfs to characters some of which we're seeing today there's been a, a nerf to projectiles in general um, the, the amount of damage that projectiles do against shields has been nerfed um, for everyone pretty much across the board um, so, uh, I know that King K. Rule got a huge buff, uh, that is why we, uh, was playing some King K. Rule music today, and, ooh, very nice catch by Kelly, um, and we'll see, um, see if that, uh, affects today's match at all. Okay, nice catch by, uh, Dark Pit there. Okay, a little, um... A little, run, a little chasing from uh, Dark Pit here. Looks like Captain Falcon's kind of looking for an opening. Ouch. So like I'm, oh, like I mentioned before, so the, we've been keeping stats of uh, damage given, damage taken, and hit percentage. Um, with the way that the 3.0 also brought like a replay system where you can post your your past matches um so we are looking in potentially getting rid of hit percentage altogether um next season just because i'm the only one right now with the capture card and that's why it's always my face hosting all the matches and um hit percentage is very difficult to track unless you're there recording the match so, um, to make things a little easier on everyone, we might just get rid of that, um, just so you can post your past matches. I don't have to be there for all the matches anymore. Ooh, we're seeing a little teabag action from Kelly. We'll go into more, uh, detail soon, but these are just all things that we're talking about. See if Kelly can take a win here. An early win would be good. Um, she had a bye week last week, as did I. So her record is two and three, and uh, High Royales is three and three. Um, the records are going to be a little wonky for the next couple weeks, up until the end of the season. Oh, nice catch! Um, it'll all even out though. Kelly is looking to tie Jason right now, and Jason's looking to take a little um, nice push. Jedi Puga and Hyrule Royale are both sitting at 3-3 three and three, um, at the end of week 6. So they're both looking to kind of go on the, on the plus side of things on their, for their records. Oh no! Nobody likes to see that, especially during uh, competitive matches. Nice. <clears throat> okay. 
Nice. Kelly's taking uh, pretty good control here of the stage. See if Broomstick can kind of finish this off here, make some changes. Nice. Nice finish. Oh, it's not done yet. We saw a kill screen, but a nice DI. You can always change that. Wow, nice reversal. Kelly's got to finish here. Okay, there it is. GG to both of them. So I got everything. So yeah, this is the part that we're looking to get rid of next season. So, I mean, I'll still record them and post them, um, like the matches and stuff, but there won't be stats at the end. Um, and, I'll, and I'll commentate on them and stuff. I just, it's just a lot of work. It's a lot of scheduling to be there for all of them. All right, so let's see here. Um, if you're watching on stream, go ahead and guess two. Um, but I think we're going to see uh, Shulk or King K. Rule. I think Shulk um, from High Royale. And then maybe Dr. Mario or Game & Watch. Um, I'm thinking Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario and Shulk is going to be my final guess. I've been wrong all week. Um, which is fun, actually. Because um, I'm normally right. But we shall see. Ready? Game and Watch and King K. Roll. We'll see if we see those buffs go into action here. Three, two, one, go! They nice start from Kelly. Oh no, that is definitely not a buff that happened. <laughs> oh no! Got a lot of work to make up here. Can almost guarantee we'll see Zelda come out next. So just to kind of list off some of King K. Rule's buffs, um, his forward air, so his fair, um, increased the high damage range, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. Um, the side tilt increased the high damage range. I guess, nah, I'm not even gonna try. Um, the up throw is no longer affected by the wind while throwing. Um, the side special, so what we just saw come out, the forward B. Or I think the forward B is the crown, actually. Um, reduce power against shields. Uh, the down special, reduce vulnerability when the counter succeeds. So if he gets the counter off, he's able to act faster. Um, and reduce vulnerability, vul vulnerability when the counter fails. So even regardless, he's got... He can act faster after the counter. I'm oh, gonna do that again. And then his up air has reduced vulnerability. So it's not like a huge buff or anything. He did get a buff. Um, but it's not as big as I thought. That uh, first stock lost by uh, Grimstick is really gonna hurt him here. Kelly's gaming watch is really strong. Um, Kind of looking for for a big win here. After a pretty rough uh, rough loss to Professor Sauce a couple weeks ago. Ooh, this is gonna have to reverse sweep here. It looks like. Nice. Ooh, that would have been bad if she caught the nine. Still in it. Um, Brimstick and I play all the time. Um, he's normally in a lot of our practices, and, and, and he's good. So I'm never gonna count. Plus, I mean, it's pretty safe to say Zelda's gonna come out next, and maybe maybe uh, Kelly will be ready for it. But <clears throat> there's nothing fun about playing against Brimstick Zelda. Nice. 
Wow. Nice catch. Mr. Cayman wins. See Kelly go up 2 0. That's good to see. I think Kelly's kind of had, she's on a little bit of a lose streak right now, which is always unfortunate. It's going to happen, but it's always unfortunate. Um, it's nice to see her kind of snap that or just kind of get a little bit of um, confidence back, you know? She's on a one loss streak, so she's she's not doing too bad there. With High Royale on a three game win streak. Okay, so it's safe to say we're gonna see Zelda on High Royale. Um, he's gotta win here, so we're gonna see Zelda. We're gonna see Zelda and um, so Kelly's already burned Captain Falcon in Game and Watch. The two I am most concerned about when playing against her. Um, yeah, I thought we'd see Dr. Mario. Okay. Three, two, one, go! The final, oh, the final destination action is do this match I already know is going to be either really epic or really fast. Because either Broomstick is going to make quick work of Kelly's Dr. Mario here or... Or it's going to be a good one. See if uh, Zelda can get her first loss of the season. Oh no! Ouch. I'm very surprised we didn't see any buffs to Little Mac or Dr. Mario's recovery. Did see some buffs to Corrin's recovery, which is pretty cool. As if she needed any buffs, but Let's see if uh, Fondo my Yoshi's can really uh, take advantage of that. There. See now, I would try maybe shielding against that. But she did get nerfed in a way that her down special. Ah, yeah, that's super frustrating. So, doesn't look like there's going to be any kind of 3-0s here today. We've got Shulk, Lucas, Shulk and Lucas on uh, Hyrule Royale's roster. Oh, nice! I find it very difficult to kill um, Jason Zelda at all, so. <clears throat> Wrecked my Greninja. My Greninja's been struggling a little bit lately, which is a bummer. Um, See if I can get some redemption this uh, weekend against Jedi Kuga. Ooh. Nice. I said it before in practice, but in order to beat Jason Zelda, you not only have to out, uh, outplay him. Nice. With the forward there. Um, you don't only have to outplay him, you have to outsmart him, too. And, uh, oops. Let's not forget the stats. And neither one is very easy. Got Jedi Puga in the chat talking a little crap. Um, we'll see what happens, man. I try not to talk crap about Smash Brothers too much, um, because then when I lose, I look really stupid, but... We'll see what happens, man. You've definitely have been practicing quite a bit, and um, I haven't been as much. So, um, we'll see. I gotta, I gotta kick it up with the practicing. I'm gonna do that today. Maybe take a little break from Joker and do some grinding. All right. So, let's see here. Um, I think we're gonna see Shulk and Daisy. Then we'll, then we'll have Sheik and Lucas for the last two, for the last match. Okay, that was wrong. But Shulk and uh, Sheik here should be pretty fun. Three, I thought for two, sure we'd be seeing uh, a game five. 
Um, now I'm almost positive. As good as Kelly is, um, I wouldn't say that Sheik is definitely her uh, her finisher. Lucas isn't uh, Broomstick's finisher either. So um, it should be a pretty interesting last couple matches here. Or it could just end right here. And I could be totally wrong about Kelly Sheik. You're seeing the shoulder coming in way hot here. Nice. We've mentioned it before, I think it was Jedi Puga who said it, but Sheik uh, has no issue tacking on the damage a little bit, but there's a rough time uh, getting that killing blow there. Something I also want to mention is that uh, Broomstick plays pretty regularly against a Peach. Um, a pretty good one at that, so um, Kelly's got her work cut out for her with Daisy here. She definitely wants to finish it here. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice counter. Nice counter. Okay. Not bad. Got a little bit of work to make up. Uh, I know she can do it. Um, it's a matter if um, if Broomstick will make a mistake or or just do a bad read or something. She can clean this up. Speed here. He's gonna have to pretty uh, he's gonna have to pretty regularly to keep up with uh, Sheik. Oh, nice. It's a little defensive play by both uh, both coaches here. He wants to get put in a bad position. Back to tight up. Nice. Wow. It's actually really fun the way they're both kind of like. I would say they're pretty evenly matched here with both characters. can kind of get it in the moment here. Like right there. Called it! Oh, wow. Almost broke the shield. Nice. It's anyone's game still. I would never count Kelly out. Or, or Broomstick out. So... Anything can happen here. <laughs> well, I think, um, so Jedi Pooh is talking about um, how he wants to see more down bees from Shulk. I think he wants Kelly to lose to keep him in the playoffs, is what I'm kind of gathering. Um, I think even if she wins, you stay in the playoffs. Um, let me take a look. Because if she wins... Um, let's say she wins it here. Then she gets four points, taking her up to 16.5. Oh, wow, yep. Then, yeah, she takes you out of playoffs if she wins this one. If she wins in five, though, she doesn't. Then you stay in playoffs. And if you win this week, then you're against me. Then you're definitely you're definitely staying in playoffs.
Yeah, if she wins in five, which she just won in four. GG to both uh, competitors. Congratulations to Kelly on her win. All right, um, so there we have it. Uh, three out of four matches of week seven are finished here. Uh, Kelly Bobelli has evened out her record to three and three. And Hyrule Royale are at three and four now. Um, I'm pretty sure that still leaves them in the playoffs. Um, I'll definitely do a recap at the end of the week. Um, but thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.